while we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Rothwell is two years the elder. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 39 wins, 14 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin. Hey! Rothwell! And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Nice kick there by Lee. Just misses with the straight right. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Ooh, head kick lands, was hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Keep moving. Look for the low kick. That 
punch, no good. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice. Caught that kick there. Nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Rothwell gets hit with a kick. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Switching stances here. Nice punch lands over the top. There it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. in a single collar tie, and they set it. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Right hand on point. Pretty decent clip. Swing and a miss with that punch by Lee. Big head kick lands. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Kick land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Rothwell gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. The king of Kenosha gets touched by that kick to the body. Misses with that punch. seconds. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hook to the body. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. The king of Kenosha gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. It's such a fast leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking. Game. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Swift's on that offering. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Both fighters throwing heat now. Rothwell's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, big shot lands. Try to establish that jab. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, nice jab. Nice kick. Checks the leg kick. Misses with the left hook. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Wow. What a punch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Got clip with the right hand. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Real quick leg kick. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Straight right, he misses. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes it takes just one to get his opponent down to the canvas. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Rothwell. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice strike. Attempts the front kick there. Fifteen seconds. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Round three next. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, 
you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Liver kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Ooh. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Very nice leg kick there by Rothwell. Big head kick land. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice kick. Throws the right hand there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Head kick. Oh, effective strike there by the king of Kenosha, Ben Rothwell. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. And follows up with another one. Hook landed on the button. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big kick. Rothwell's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, big head kick. Back and forth we go here. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Body kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Beautiful head kick. Right punches there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice sneaky head kick. Continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Sneaky head kick. Lands with the kick there. No pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Massive head kicks. Oh, big left. And a miss 
with the right hook. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast that he always brings his hands right back to his face. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for field. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Cut, man. Over here, over here. Listen. Okay, it's not that bad. The cut is not that bad. You know? All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right hand punch to the Big shots being landed on both sides here. Pretty good right hand. Straight punch lands. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move. Right, huh. beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Look at that whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, lands another punch there. And not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacked with that punch, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. You got to check these low leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. Lands flush with that right hand. Head kick. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Lee. Nice leg kick. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you one knee to the body, I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. How good is that right hand? Single collar tie. Lands with the knee to the body. Big head kick. Plus right hand is true. Oh, nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down both of our combatants? is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He got a bang! Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Lee's got the full mount. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling it. Posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground ball combinations. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. The king of Kenosha gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. There's no give on that leg kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. That 
This was a good leg kick. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Effective punch there by Lee. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Let's go. Push, push, push. Ten seconds to go in round four. for the end of round four. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, next round is now underway. Next Previous round, round not necessarily a tough act to follow. But pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so easily matched. Yeah. Oh, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Great punch landing and so much power. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. <laughs> Rothwell's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. That one snuck in. Nice, nice. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Beautiful kick. Just misses there with the left. Steady. Liver kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Boy, tie plump. Rothwell gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they set. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. Land. Rothwell's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Able to check that kick as well. Look at him drive his shin into the front of body with that body kick. Big leg kick land. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Two minutes now to go in this one. Can't put any weight on it. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Great punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. You can 
really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Rothwell. We got one minute left in the round. One minute to go in the fight. There you go. Single collar tie now. Big kick. Nice kicks there by Lee. Spinning attack there. Nice punch there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Now connects with a right. Kick to the body by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. decision is now in it resides with Bruce Buff ladies and gentlemen after five rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score the contest 50 45 declaring the winner by unanimous decision Bruce the Dragon Lee well he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In